in 1903, it was an academy. 1903, that's the year I was born, they made the change to the university. I grew up in Provo City. I remember there was lots of wagons coming along, and they were pulled by ox teams. After a while, it was all horse teams. Eventually, they were automobiles. That was the kind of a town it was. First job I had at BYU was cleaning erasers, and I got 50 cents a day to do that. That was big pay. And I've been getting big pay at the university ever since. Carl G. Mazur, he died before I came here. And of course, he was one of the greatest educators that we ever had. When I went to school, everybody was called Carl. Carl Young and Carl Miller, and there's a half a dozen more Carls. Yeah, it was the respect they had for him. It was President Taft. He came into Provo City and Reed Smoot, he took Taft up on the hill. He says, this is a place I want to see the school built. And President Taft says, this is the finest place in the world to build a school. I don't believe there's another person lie, alive that has seen as much as I have. From 1908, when I went up on Temple Hill with nothing up there, we went up there with the entire school and made a Y where the Carl G. Mazur building is. The president of the church, he dedicated the land to be used for the university. Not one little tiny piece, but the whole land. That went, almost went up to the mountainside. It was a glorious day for us to see something in, in the future. We had no idea it would ever develop into a university like it is today. When I first came to the university, there was three buildings and 125 acres of cultivated land. Who would ever believe that in my lifetime, that I've seen all this? Just every day we had a new building. And I can't express my feelings how it is to see a university like it is. And here I'm 103, good night, nurse. How does it expect, how do you feel when you're 103? Well, I feel like I'm 85.